What it do guys, Manjumea here from Team Thunder and today we're looking at the recently announced fighting game Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. We'll check out the trailer and everything currently known about the game and impressions from the community. Links in the description below. So looking at it, the art assets are very similar to Power Rangers Legacy Wars, as do some techniques. As such, some people have asked if this is a port from mobile to consoles or if they just copied over assets. Confirmed by the dev that neither is true. However, there are some techniques that are very similar from Fire Rangers Legacy Wars. This move here seems to be Tommy's Dragon Charge. This one's a twofer. Super Mega Force Yellow is using Hand Cannon Shot here, and Jason is using that sword technique that he used to defeat Tommy. Here, Tommy is using Dagger Quake with full knockback. At the end here, he's obviously doing a Hadouken, although he has done a similar technique in the Genesis fighting game. This one's from a screenshot, and if Yellow is an assist, she's doing a different one than she did in the trailer, unless Red is the assist, in which case we're seeing a little bit of gameplay from Yellow and the assist for Red. Also confirmed is that this game will be a 3v3 fighter, much like Marvel vs. Capcom, and also just like Power Rangers Legacy Wars. As such, they have enlisted Justin Wong to help balance the game. This sort of thing has been done in the past, like Clockwork with PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale, and a few members of the Mortal Kombat competitive community in helping to create the further games in the series as well as Injustice. The game is coming to PS4, Xbox One, Steam, and the Nintendo Switch. It will be digital only. There will be two editions, the Standard Edition and the Digital Collector's Edition. The Standard Edition includes a digital game with two pre-order bonuses, Green Ranger version 2 skin and the digital art book. The Standard Edition will cost $19.99, though specifically for the Xbox version you get a token that you can either use for yourself or gift it to someone else. The Digital Collector's Edition has all the standard goodies along with a Season 1 pass which shows three silhouettes, though that could mean anything, Lord Draco Evo 2 skin, and a Pink Ranger skin. And the Collector's Edition will cost $39.99. Release date is due in April 2019, the same month as Mortal Kombat 11, with the PC version coming after consoles in Summer 2019. Links to pre-order will be in the description below. Something I think is kind of interesting is that in the artwork for the V2 skin for the Green Ranger, he's holding the Sword of Darkness, which means he might be using it in his gameplay, much like he did in the Genesis fighting game. Here's a tweet from a Hasbro employee for very quick clarifications. Battle for the Grid is a new Power Rangers fighting game. It is for console and PC. It has cross-platform combat, as well as cross progression, although listed on the website at time of recording, only includes PC, Switch, and Xbox One. PS4 does not seem to be a part of that. Otherwise, you'd be able to buy the Collector's Edition on Xbox and be able to then play that same account and all the stuff you've unlocked on the Switch version. It has PvP and a single story mode. It is not a port of Legacy Wars, although it looks like they've carried over some of the assets and ideas. No cards, no free to play, DLC bonus content, new moves, new characters, meaning, you know what, maybe not every character that we'll see will come from Legacy Wars, including Odorakon Evo 2. And pre order is available now. Now, for even more clarification, they've also stated that the combat system is built from the ground up and is not taken from the mobile game, which means we're not going to be using that card system that the Hasbro employee mentioned earlier. Final thoughts. I'm honestly not the biggest fan of 3v3 fighters. I prefer 1v1, but it's far too early to see how it'll be. Though with the 1999 base price tag, it doesn't position itself to be a triple A title to begin with. It's odd to pick April for release since we're getting just that, a triple A title in MK11 that same month. That said, I am getting both. Release date or weekend, I will be streaming it on my PS4 Pro and if you get on just that platform, we can get some games in. I wish the cross-progression and the cross-play included PS4, but in the past that's been more on Sony than the developers. Well guys, that's it for what I currently know about Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. If you want to stay up to date on my videos and live streams on both YouTube and Twitch, check out the links in the description below. Like, comment, subscribe, and consider joining. That's all for now guys. Mondrame, out.